Have you enjoyed the show, ladies and gentlemen? Has this been a good show? How have, have you enjoyed you, it? Uh, thank you for being a good sport. You've been a great sport, thank you. You are genuinely, you're fucking inspirational to everyone in here. You do stand up for three speech. You are, like, I got to know Danky a little bit over this process. He's a fucking good guy. He's a funny, witty guy in real fucking life. He's ugly as fuck, but other than that, he's great. And we've got one last surprise for you, right? Because I reached out to Steve McLean. I did it really, but... <laughs> But we did reach out to someone, because we want this to be special for you. So we got you a very special surprise. Went to a lot of time and effort to get this. So enjoy. Sorry about that. I didn't, I didn't mean for that to happen. Hello. Hello, Mark Meachie. Nice to meet you at last. Although I haven't, uh, haven't yet worked up the courage to actually come there in, in person. Baby steps, baby steps. Um, Mark, about a year ago, uh, someone who, who presumably is a fan of yours, uh, in the nicest possible way, ambushed me at a uh, women's rights march uh, or event, you know, whatever the fuck it was. Um, <laughs> And uh, he asked me about whether, he asked me whether I changed my mind at all about what you had uh, been through um, in the famous case of the, of the Nazi pug. Um, and I kind of gave a quasi apology, but I didn't really do a proper one. I, my, my mind was, was, uh, was taken up with other things like my own cancellation. Um, so I wanted to say, in a, I wanted to put it on the record here, especially, um, I apologize unreservedly for my part in what happened to you now. Um, I don't really have much of an excuse, except that since I kind of came out of it, I realized that I was in a, uh, as someone else put it recently, a silo um, where I'd worked myself into a lather thinking that uh, Nazis were, were, were in, the, um, in the woodwork. Uh, of course, it turns out that the real authoritarians are uh, left-wing uh, misogynistic men and uh, because I was so taken up in thinking I was defending ourselves from the Nazi menace I I didn't sit long enough and think about what was going what you were going through and what you were experiencing I was putting a lot of two and twos together and making fives uh, I know I, I've said it to you before I think in much more antagonistic terms but <sighs> the photograph with Tommy Robinson threw me and stuff like that but the thing is I now know what it's like to be swept up in something that you don't have any control over. And I now know how uh, people can put anything in uh, a context that paints you any way they want. So I no longer trust uh, the people or the news sources that um, helped convince me that you were uh, uh, a, you know, a relation to Goebbels. Um, so yeah, I will take this, as I say, quite slowly, a step at a time, but I do hope to meet you someday uh, where I can say this in person, and um, I offer you my hand in friendship. <laughs> I leave you the stage. I'm, I'm definitely going to say that was the last fucking thing I expected, man. It just, he tried to ruin my fucking life. But <laughs> however, I, I completely accept his apology and I'm very happy to talk to uh, Graham Linehan.